Hey, welcome back to my Rogue Tech campaign. So when last we left off, which was just uh, yesterday, we picked up in one battle enough parts to finish a Marauder 2 5D and a Marauder 2 6A. So now we have two Marauder 2s sitting in our bays that need to be repaired. Um, I wasn't expecting to get assault mechs this quickly. Uh, however, there they are. So, I mean, I could, since we just refit our Heavy Lance, I could go back and redo them with these two Marauders. But I think for now, we're just going to let them sit there. We have a couple of things we want to do before that. We want to get our third mech bay up and running. And we want to get our Light Lance back. we got to get our Medium Lance built up again. So, I think I'm going to bypass doing these for right now. And what I'm going to do is, for today, what I want to try anyway, is I'm going to go to the contracts here. Since our main lance is fighting actually fairly well, what I want to try to do here is do this weakest, weakest link contract. Now, this is an assassinate at four and a half skulls, and chances are we're going to be facing about nine mechs in this one. So I thought I would give it a good whirl here just to see how well our unit's doing. Our main heavy lance... Our main guys haven't really fought up to nine guys in a while, so especially pretty much almost at one time. So we're actually going to take this. It's an assassinate in the highlands, so I'm thinking probably this, this should be a really good one to do. So we're just going to take this mission, we're going to negotiate it, and I think I'm not going to go full salvage on this, and the reason for that is, well maybe we will, it's 219. It's going to cost us almost a hundred thousand to drop plus repair costs. Um, I'm just worried that we're yeah. Let's just do it this way. I'm just worried that we're going to take way more damage than we're going to be able to repair. But we're going to go this route because let's live dangerously. Let's deploy. Yeah, it says <laughs> we, we might need more firepower. We're at about three skulls. We're doing a four and a half, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, here we go. So we're going to need to be careful on this one. We've only got about 11 or 12 turns of ammo. And what are we dealing with up here? I don't know what that is. Could be an awesome or something along that line. Find out when we get there, I guess. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We're going to have a unit up here, spread out. And it doesn't look like there's any reinforcements. Well, there might not be. So my guess is that we're facing probably an assault lance, an assault leader. So we're going to reserve. I'm going to move as a group here. So let's get height going. Um, we need to f spot the enemy faster. So let's get height. Yeah, we're going to go up in the hill. Okay, two vehicles. So we struck good luck here. 75 ton and an 80 ton. All right. Let's finish him up. And let's get hey. fan skater moving. Actually, you know what? We're going to reserve. Let's see where they move here. They got a sensor lock on me. Yeah, I'm expecting a lot more of that. Yes, commander. Um, Ultra tens, you need to be in close. So let's get you down here. So we have to be very careful. We got 12 turns of Ultra Ten fire. Okay. 80 ton mech. Straight for orders. Let's get up here, see if we can spot anybody else. Still nothing. There's probably a guy over here. That's usually where they're laid out. Did that guy disappear. Uh oh, a Thunderbolt carrier. Those look like big missiles, too. Thunderbolt 15, Thunderbolt 20, who knows. Alright. Let's get in here and mean business now. we got to start spotting these guys. So that's their main mech moving. Uh, I'm going to reserve back. So here comes the 75 tonner. They got sensor lock on height, and that's okay. 
He's about to get more uh, chevrons of evasion here in a second. So it doesn't look like we can get in to see anybody here. So let's get over here in the woods, move as fast as we can. I want to see what this guy is over here. If there's another guy coming too, we want to shift our weight this way first, kill these guys, and then ship back and kill him. So that's kind of my goal. It's kind of usually how I play this map. Okay, can we get you down in there anywhere? No, let's just move forward. Actually, you know what? Let's reserve this. Roger that. Standing by. I want to trade off turns with him. Yeah, here comes a hunter tonner. So he's the guy with the sensor lock. So what do we got here? Double PPCs. Let's go with the guy with the ammo down in front, not firing this turn. It's kind of a half half assed way of saving some ammo. So there's an LRM-15 and a PPC for an 80 ton mech. I don't know what that is. Okay. Nobody wants to move in visual range. That's fine. We'll move forward. Moving fast. Come on, you guys. Oh, there it is. As long as you make yourself visible, I can kill you. Let's see what this guy is. TBM-10 carrier. So that's not so bad. He's got, like, no armor. All right, so let's just move down here. Uh, we're going to sprint it down because we can. Go in the woods. Aye, aye. We should have really good targeting on this guy. I think probably one PPC should do it. But I will fire two because we are really heat efficient. There we go. Warning. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Okay. So, can I get in to see anybody? No, I cannot. So, let's reserve. I think what we'll do... Oh, this guy's moving into range. Okay. Brutus, eh? So our, our evasion and being in the woods is really helping us out in this particular match. Go. Doesn't always work out that way, uh, but in this case it's working out really well. So we're going to push this 80-tonner, see if we can get him to move forward a little bit. Let's take out the Brutus. We're going to fire everything at him. We're going to fire mostly all our laser guys first, um, simply because I don't want to waste AC ammo unless I absolutely have to. I don't think there's going to be re uh, reinforcements coming on this battle. But just in case, I don't want to waste too much ammo. Let's just move down. Should be able to smoke this guy with the two PPCs now. How are we doing? 104, 80... Ah, he's in the woods though. We might get him. Let's just fire these two. Nope. Might as well use up the AC ammo. Or use some AC ammo on him. This platform, I'm, I'm actually liking it with the double Ultra 10s. Boom. The 66 damage per shot is actually really nice. I just wish I could use... Uh, different ammo with the ultras. So a hundred tonner sensor locking the Orion. Gonna have to do better than that. So he's backing up. We're coming for you, buddy. Don't worry. We're coming for you. So now we can see you. You're dead meat. Awesome. Okay. Large. Wow, that's a pretty lousy array of weapons. Let's fire everything on them. Let's hopefully we get the tag on them. Or at least one of the two tags. There's one. Okay, advanced skater. Let's get those autocannons going. Maybe we can destabilize them a bit. Four hits. Wow. He's unsettled. Flatliner with the PPCs. Let's get just to... Where can we see him well? Here we go. It's weird that we can see him better here. Anyway, let's fire with the PPCs. Let's hope we, hope we connect with one. 
Gonna include the LRMs as well. Wow, that's uh, really bad. Okay, now he's unsteady. I don't have to do much other than just move over a little bit. And we're gonna load up all the LRMs. Really great chances to hit. So let's go for an offensive push. We're gonna target his head. Roger that. There we go. Not much you can do with a uh, clan ER PPC to the head, with, especially when it has a PPC capacitor and a uh, good pilot. That looks like an LRM-20, 100-tonner, probably, I don't know, an Atlas, maybe? That guy's moving a little slow up there. Waiting for orders. So let's move, uh, let's reserve. We're going to move height again. Ooh, we got eyes on, excellent. Yeah, that's an Atlas over there. Danielle, eh? Bonjour, Daniel. I'm on him. Okay, it doesn't look like we got the tag on him, though. So let's get um, Vein Skater next. See if we can get some stability hits on him. See if we can put his butt on the ground here. Ah, three hits. Okay, flatliner. Just gonna walk it down. There's no point in running. We should hit with the PPCs here. That guy's nice and slow. There's a ton of stability damage, and this could be a knockdown. Nope, but it definitely will be now. And we're going to do the same thing. Offensive push, looking for a called shot to the head. Nope, but he should fall down here. Yeah, they just can't withstand this shit. It's kind of good we didn't have reinforcements, but I mean, I was kind of hoping for them. I wanted to see how this my my builds would sustain a uh, long fight. But if it's any indication of how we worked here, I mean, the reinforcements would just be kind of arriving now. So we did we seem seem to have a half decent build. As long as they weren't four assault mechs, we would be doing okay. Okay, LRM-10, it looks like. And let's get ground zero moving forward. Should we do another offensive push for a headshot? Or should we save it for the other mech? Let's just save it. It's going to fire everything. Got it. Once again, at this point, I'm not really looking for... Um, Assault mech parts. We've got those two Marauder 2s right now that we're going to have to outfit. Uh, let's get yep. Flatliner first. Let's move him up a bit. Onward. Should be able to knock this guy down now. Got it, Commander. Yeah, he's going down. There goes the torso. It's another pilot injury. The fall will put him down to one. And then with height, Skipper. we'll just move up a little over here. Oh, we can't see him from there. You can see him from here, though. I got you. And I think I'm going to leave the PPC off, but I'll fire the rest. We don't need an offensive push. We'll just attack him straight out. Going to go for the headshot. Fire. I got you. Wow, he bailed. Okay. Just as good as a headshot. Standing by. All right, buddy. Let's get up the hill here. On my way, double time. Gonna move him up ahead of the other guys. He's a close range fighter, so. See if we can get in close before this guy. It's only an 80 ton mech. Standing by. Probably another awesome. Confirmed. Which is just awesome. Okay, so let's get Flatliner up here. Trying to stay in the woods. Alrighty, keep moving forward. Waiting for orders. Just gonna move and fortify over here. Or brace. I 
All right. Good to go. Not wanting to get in close, and I don't blame them. Roger. Full speed. I'm ready. Let's get up here. I know there's a bit of a crest here. He's got to come over that before he can get to us. So we're going to get aligned here. So that all we have to do is step over. And then we can all shoot at him. Not so so worried about the Orion being up there because he's got the uh, three racks of LRMs I can still use at a distance. And this guy's only 80 tons, so it's not really that that uh, difficult to kill him. All right, so we're going to reserve ground zero. And we should be able to crest. Hopefully we'll be able to see him. Yeah, we can now. So let's engage him to Zeus. Laser Binary Plus. I wonder what that is. Not a lot of armor. Whoops, forgot to initiate the PPC. But he is tagged, so that's going to help. Alright, let's get some stability on this guy. Opening up with everything. Well, he is braced, so it's not going to do that much. Let's get you up over the hill. Staying in the trees, just so we can minimize damage against us. I know it makes it a little harder for us to hit, but with these chances, there's no point in worrying about that. Okay, so now he's going to be unstable. And we'll just keep sprinting up here. Get us close. And let's do an offensive push. And let's try for a headshot. We've got good chances to hit, so... Is that enough stability? Oh, there's a knockdown. There's a head hit. Okay. Two of four. Now I'm thinking if we can pepper him with enough missiles to knock him over again. And get a head hit with missiles. That'll be it for him. And we'll get some good salvage off this guy. Wow, that was bad. Our target is bugging out. Oh, he's not going anywhere, Darius. Alright, offensive push. Once again, doing the same thing. Targeting the head. Just going to fire. Nope. Definitely stressed, though. Alright, so let's shoot him from this side this time. Oh, come on. You know what it is? I've been playing Age of Wonders. Three, and you gotta right-click to move and stuff, so I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Keep right-clicking. Let's just fire on him. Should be enough to knock him over. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, he's panicking, though. Alright, Flatliner. Just gonna walk forward. And that's going to be an offensive push to the... How much has he got left in this torso here? 50. I'm going to go for a headshot, and we're going to fire this small laser LRM-20. Left torso destroyed. He's past this thing. Is he going to fall? There it is. So that's it. He's out. That's it for him. Well, it was a really efficient use of ammunition, but... I mean, that wasn't really a challenge at all. I was hoping for two lances of defenders, but we got some good experience across the board. Uh, we do have the uh, clan endosteel too that we can uh, drop in the uh, catapult maybe to add a bit more weaponry to it that we picked up last episode. So lots of Atlas parts, lots of awesome parts, lots of Zeus parts. But we're not going to go for any of those. Laser binary, what's this thing? 61 damage, 33 heat. Minus 3 heat generated, plus 10% crit. Blazers. Stability 10. 9 tons though. It's not really worth it. LRM 10, plus 2 damage. That's a possibility for lighter lances. Let's see what other stuff they have here down here. Combat shield, guardian ECM, couple of big cores. Anything that's any good, though? Oh, cooling pods. Definitely need cooling pods. I think we'll take those three. We're going to have plenty of opportunity to grab other mech parts and stuff. But I'm thinking the three cooling pods. These are really going to help our builds. We can replace regular heat sinks with these guys. So let's do that. 
So we got three Atlas parts, one, two Awesome parts, and two Zeus parts. So that's not too bad, not too bad overall. TBM 10, I don't think we'll use it though. Six tons for 40 damage. 2012 heat, but still uses AC5 ammo. We might use it on a lighter mech, but we'll see. Hey, we just helped Magistrate Cannabis take Joy's, Joy's from the Free Worlds League. Cool. Nice. Three of our mechs were damaged in the last engagement. It's okay, 8700. That's way less than I thought it was going to be. Cool, 10 days to the next financial report. So let's go past the uh, repairs on these guys. And let's have a quick look here. Before we end the episode, uh, I'm going to try and start keeping these episodes really sh a lot shorter. Um, get some good battles in. So let's have a look here, what we can do. So the Orion, do we have any regular heat sinks in here? I don't think we do. And the Warhammer, I think we don't either. Uh, unless I'm missing them here. It doesn't look that way. Okay. Cataphract, I know this guy will benefit from the... Yeah, it's got regular heat sink. It's going to definitely benefit. Uh, what do we do here? Catapult... Let's look at the catapult first. So, if we put the clan endo steel in here, we're going to get more room, but we're not going to get any more weight. So I'm wondering if we look at the cataphract and perhaps do that. Yeah, see, he's got plenty of space. And uh, he's, he, his heat sinking is good in this mech. So we're going to leave the catapult alone. And we're going to go look at the cataphract real quick. This was the one that we were having a little a few issues with as we were trying to build this guy. Okay, so we ran out of space. That was one of the things. And we were kind of underwhelmed by the overall layout of this thing. So what I want to try and do now is let's pull out some of these regular heat sinks first. What was our heat sinking? Heat sinking was pretty good, I think. Yeah, it's still like it's still a hot running mech. So let's go to the equipment and let's go to here and let's see. So we got an exchanger left over, which we can't use with these guys. But let's pull out maybe one of the double heat sinks. But if we're going to do that, let's pull it out of the arm. And we pull out two. And then let's go with our cooling pods, which we've now got four of. I'm going to put one, two, take another double heat sink out, and let's go three, four. I wonder if we just, just put all these in the legs. So what's our heating at right now? I'm going to take that as being pretty close to accurate. Because we got, what, 35? And 30 is 65. And then two medium pulses at 35 a pop. Or at 36 total. Is 101. And then 11. 112. 112. Minus 20. 36%. So we're looking at minus... About minus 40. So about... 72 heat generated somewhere around there I think it's got it at 82 so it's pretty close to being accurate with 84 heat sinkers heat sinkers so it looks pretty good I think so let's have a look now um, yeah let's have a look at maybe sw switching out this small laser here and the tag. What can we do? There's no missile hard points. We've got ballistic. Um, got another clan ER large, which I don't think we want to put another one of those in. We got a bonus medium laser, which nah, no big deal. We got two ER medium clans. We could replace the pulse laser with those. We're losing accuracy, but we're gaining heat. And range, but the yeah these are regular medium pulses, right? You got to be in close for those. 
We got another triple plus PPC too. This is the same one, right? So maybe we do this. Maybe we're gonna, oh, we got our ER PPC clan too, right? So let's pull out the regular PPC. Let's put the clan PPC in. So this is 45 heat, so we're adding 10 more heat. Let's pull out the small laser for now. Let's pull out the secondary, well, maybe we leave the secondary tag in. And maybe we just go with heat sinking again to replace what we removed. So we put the double heat sink back in. I mean, what's it saying now? Heat sinking 90, alpha strike 82. I don't, yeah, because we pulled this, the large, yeah, that's about right. Because the regular PPC and the ER is small. If we put the ER small back in, then we'd be over in heat. Not really though. We have the heat bank, right? The heat bank's a huge benefit. Wonder if we could go this route. I mean, maybe we don't put an ER small in. Maybe we make that uh, ER like a clan ER medium. We still have half a ton left over. We could just put the ER small back in. But where would it go? We don't have any room for it, unfortunately. Half a ton of armor? Don't really have half a ton's worth of armor to replace. I mean, we could take half a ton off and put in there a heat sink in, but does that really make a difference? I'm liking this extra firepower here. Let's pull up the second tag. And let's put the ER small. Oh, we can't put the ER small back in. What was I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, where's the clan ER PPC at the bottom here? So we'll leave it this way. Still a ton and a half. We take the tag out, we can put the heat sink back in. Yeah, it's gonna give us good heat sinking. The question is, what could we build if we put the clan endo steel in? That's the other thing too, right? Put the clan, we need this, we need the space for it. So let's pull up the double heat sink first. Put the clan endo steel in. So now we've got an extra five tons. So let's go to ballistic weapons here for a second. What can we drop in this guy? Like everything's really weighty though. AC2 rotary. Like you just need tons of weight for this stuff. Yeah, you'd, you'd have to put like a like a regular auto cannon in or something. Clan Gauss rifle is what? Twelve tons. Seventy pinpoint. But no heat. The Ha twenty is ten tons. But you need a lot more ammo for this too, right? That's the that's the huge issue right there. So this would be 14 tons. And this guy, you gotta add five tons, so, so this would be 15 tons. To have the same amount of shots. No, this will be 10 tons. This will be 10, sh 10 turns of firing continuous, and this will be 16 turns of firing continuous. So... Let's try something. Let's pull out the double heat sinks for now. We're gonna pull out the, we're gonna leave the clan ER medium in the arm. Pull out the medium pulses for now. Clan Gauss rifle. It would just fit with one ton of ammo. What's our heat sinking at? Just slightly over. Let's 
so we don't really have the weight for that. Hmm. Ultra fives, we need two tons, it's eleven tons. It's forty damage times two, eighteen heat. I think I'm overthinking this. So if we put let's go down here. Medium pulses back in. Let's leave our clan structure out. I think maybe we can use that, utilize that a little better in the, uh, hmm, we might be able to use that a little better in the, um, Black Knight. It's really good heat sinking. I mean, we could pull a double heat sink out and just put two regular in. And then... Do something like that. I think. I mean, the heat sinking is better on them now. We've upgraded the small to a ER medium and the PPC to a clan PPC. So let's go this route. Six days, 20, it's a very minimum in cost. Let's confirm this. So yeah, that's how I think we'll leave this for now. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. So next episode, I want to make a stab at... Uh, working on some of these guys. So we'll pull a mission off first in the next episode. Take a stab at rebuilding some of these guys. We've got to get our second lance back up and running. Uh, all three of these mechs need to be back up. So uh, we will do that in the next episode. Uh, at least try and get some of them back up. Perhaps we uh, try and get the Black Knight up and running. It's going to be the biggest uh, task, I think. So until that time, I'm going to end the episode for now. And um, if you like the episode, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.